everybody, welcome back. If you have never seen my face before, my name is Holly. Today's video is going to be posted onto my channel and onto the Unite Students channel. Now I've done a few of these cooking videos in the past, but this one is going to be slightly different. We all know that learning to cook for yourself is a massive part of living independently once you move out for university. But not only is cooking vital in keeping you alive, it is also a great way to build up relationships with your flatmates. Cooking together can be a great social activity and I thought that in today's video I would let you into the madness that is cooking a flat dinner. In our flat we do love to cook together when we can, a flat dinner is such a fun thing to do so we thought in today's video we would make one of our favourite go-to dishes which is a nacho salad. It is amazing. And while cooking and eating we would also answer some questions that you might have about cooking together or sharing a kitchen in a student flat. This meal is one of our absolute favourites to make because not only is it absolutely amazing, it is so easy to make and you can literally throw anything in the cupboards that you have into this meal. It's great for using up anything that might be going out of date and you can really customise it to what everybody likes. So I'm going to let past Holly do all the talking but first things first, we've got to go in a little top up shop. Any time now, whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh, hey, MTV, welcome to my kitchen. Yeah man, if that woman focused, that would have been great. I feel so unbrushed. You ready to get this going? Yes. Yes! Oh my god! Guys, this is not a flattering colour for anyone. Oh no! This is Why oh. does the yellow make me look like a little tomato? What the hell? I, what are you even looking at? It's just like, you know when they do those experiments, they lock people in a coloured room for long enough and see what it does to their mood. Um, well, hey guys, welcome back to my cooking show. <laughs> Claudia Cawthorn, tell me your name, your age, and one fun fact about you. <laughs> oh no, what can we make a like cooking show edition of it? Your favourite food and the food that you're doing right now. What is your job this evening? Hi guys, I'm Claudia. Uh, my favourite food is um, all carbonara, but Ooh. because I don't eat meat, I uh, substitute with the old uh, mushrooms. Oh. Uh, and what I'm doing right now is I'm making some salsa and I'm also making some quinoa. And the salsa is made with corn. Mira! Yes. <laughs> uh, my name is Mira. I think my favorite food is like like mac and cheese maybe. Ooh. Nice and easy. And my contribution has been chopping Wah. vegetables. Yeah. Come on. Go to the store. We'll <laughs> you got it. So no one told you that was gonna be this way. <laughs> Mira! Your best friend's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Your best friend's broke. You're a joke. <laughs> okay, let's sure. just take for ourselves. Go for it, babes. Go for it. This is good anyway. Yeah, I like my chips all over the carpet too. <laughs> I'm the only one that ever fucking hoovers it. Mm, wow. I've hoovered it. <laughs> I have actually also hoovered it. When? <laughs> so, 
Walgens arm meal time. <coughs> Welcome. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like one of our go-to meals. Extremely easy. Caters for all dietary requirements. As you can see, it's a pick and choosy meal. We have salad. Uh, we also have quinoa, which is great to add to any salad. Also more commonly known. I didn't even know what she was talking about. I was just like, mm. Did you? Yeah, and some corny, corny <laughs> toppings. Also, I get super bloated. I feel like this meal doesn't actually make me feel that bloated. Yeah. It's just so good. Yeah. It tastes so good. It does. It doesn't make you feel, feel bad, but it kind of satisfies your like need for junk food sometimes. It's mm. a lot more filling. For filling? Filling? Mm. Than a regular salad. Okay, question coming your way. What is the secret? to sharing a kitchen with your flatmates. Don't make a dig. <laughs> I washed all the dishes the other day, very hungover, okay? I did well yesterday, so... <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> I would say it's doing your own dishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that any of us do that. I feel like if you're living in halls especially, you shouldn't expect other people to do it. No. Like, no. They have no loyalties to you Exactly. Yet. And like fair enough, once you become pally, you're like, oh, like they did my little thing, I'll like clear up their stuff here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But don't expect anyone else to clean up after you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we have a like mutual need for our space to be like not a total dive. So we we'll, like pitch in and yeah. do each other's dishes sometimes. But in halls, no one is gonna do that for you. No. I think it's just like being aware of your surroundings as well. Like it's fine to like yeah. leave dishes out a little once in a while, and like if you have to run, run off to lecture or something, but just kind of being aware that you do your bit and help out as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially as well, like when you are. <laughs> interrupted was especially if you are living in halls and it's your first year at university if you don't get in a habit of like clearing up after yourself in those first like few months or whatever you're never gonna get there like make yourself do those dishes yeah and also no one's gonna want to live with you question number two kind of leads off of this how do you keep the place clean and tidy just be aware of your spaces clean up after yourself yeah. and help out when people need yeah, I feel like also as well, it can be quite difficult in halls when you're living with a bunch of people, but don't be like paranoid to be the person that's like, okay guys, everyone get into the kitchen, it'll take 20 minutes and it'll be tidy. Because sometimes that is what you need, especially if you are staying in a flat, like the flat that we stayed in in first year had nine people living in it. So if one person leaves a bowl, a knife and a fork, that's already a lot of stuff mm -hmm. everywhere. Also, bowl number two. <laughs> Also, what? <laughs> Question number three, who's oh. the fastest? Me. Bowl number two. <laughs> and who eats the most? Also me. This is another extreme benefit of just having a throw everything that you've got in a pan meal. Mm -hmm. Because you can have as much as you want. You can have as little as you want. How do you decide who gets what space? Well, last year we just shared everything. We didn't have any like system. Yeah. This year we do have like one shelf each and a cupboard yeah. each. And I definitely prefer that, like it wasn't a problem last year. Mm -hmm. but it makes it easier to just remember what type of food you have and stuff as well. Yeah, because I kept forgetting what was mine. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. It wasn't that I didn't want other people to take my stuff because mm -hmm. I'm not that bothered about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I just don't like thinking that I've stolen someone's stuff. Yeah. And I would have done that a lot last year, I'm sure. I feel like in halls, a lot of places do it that like whatever room number you're in, they have a corresponding like yeah. kitchen space. So it's not really a problem when you're in first year or whatever and you kind of just divide up the fridge as like to what makes sense. Yeah, but halls will be like structured. Halls is pretty share. easy. But when you do move out and you're living in like a regular flat, you can either choose to just like shove everything in the fri like fridge, freezer, shove everything in the cupboards and just go for it. And that's what we did last year. But this year, there was three equal cupboards mm -hmm. that made sense just to be three different food cupboards. Where are you off <laughs> to? I'm just having some water. Upside down, huh? But yeah, I feel like find what works for you in your flat. I feel like the more people that you live with, probably the harder it is to put, just put all your stuff in and remember who's is what. Like if you were in a two bed flat or something, it would be pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, this is this is a total, Oh, this is an aside. Right. Yeah. Mm. But one bit of advice I would give, 
is like not to buy too much kitchen stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like last year and it. also this year, we have just had to put bags and so much bags kitchen of stuff. kitchen stuff mm -hmm. just in a cupboard somewhere. Like so, when you're renting, you pretty much always will get loads of kitchen stuff. Yeah. So flat. don't bother yeah. buying too much. A lot. Yeah. You can like, share with flatmates. Like as soon as then more people move in together, you don't need like mm -hmm. ten. Because like Five this flat, we got like ten. Frying pans, and we yeah, only we actually used actually the actually mirror bought in first year, which is just the best frying pan ever. Fair point, Claudia. Thanks yeah. for thanks for adding that. Thanks. That sidebar. I get so excited about the questions. I'm like, oh, I actually know what I can say to this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, quick, quick, quick. um, right, see if you have an answer for this one, right? How about? <laughs> I'm ready for it. Do you all cook and eat together? No. <laughs> you didn't even think about that. No, we like to do flat dinners when we have the time. Yeah. Um, but most, like, our schedules are so different. Mm -hmm. we, we can't really find the time to do it. I would say, like, 90% of the time we cook together, though. You cook too, maybe. Yeah. 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 Fair. But, like, yeah. maybe, like, 80-90% of the time. Weird. Yeah, and I'd say as well, sometimes like the way it's kind of worked out, it's never like a right, let's sit down, we're gonna have this dinner here, blah 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 blah. But like, if I'm cooking something and you're cooking something, we'll be like, oh, well, we just like make a Come salad on, yeah. for the yeah. side or yeah. like pitch in, just, like steal it and get to each other's food. I feel like it's so hard, especially at university, because as you said, everyone does have such different timetables. Mm. But I feel like if there's a few of us like cooking in the kitchen at the one time, we're all just gonna like start grabbing food from each other anyway. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We would never all be here and not cook together. Yeah, exactly. If we're all like just chilling around and we're like, mm, hungry, it's not like, okay, I'll have the kitchen now to make my mac and cheese. You have the kitchen to make your chicken yeah. in like 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Which but. is what I just do not miss about halls. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. nine people oh. doing nine separate meals. In the kitchen at the same oh, time. And yeah. the at the same time. But no, I feel like when you are living with people, I feel like it is good to try and do like a flat dinner every now and then. Like, Probably. especially, I really liked it last year when we stayed with like Heather as well. Yeah. And me and Heather were both on placement, so we we're like really, really busy. And we, all we had time to do was like do placement stuff, come back, plan for the next day. And the only time that you would have to chill out was when you were eating. Mm. So it was nice then to kind of do something as a group of people. That's and like your like, social activity. Yeah. yeah, it stops you. It's not as if you're like going out to the pub or going out for dinner, mm. but even just like making food together and eating it at the same time is quite a nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And during exam time as well. And like everyone chips in with stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Like if we know that like yeah. someone's got way too much to do then we would just make dinner and then they could have some. And final question, which yes. leads on from what you were saying. Mm. How do you organise shared meals and split shopping bills? We share like something like butter and stuff and I feel like we'll just kind of take turns buying a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, other than that we just buy our own food and if we do a meal together we'll just split the receipt, like see what we're all eating and then split it. Mm -hmm. like, we, keep it we keep it very simple, like we don't, we're not too fussed about the details. Yeah. But like when it gets to the point that you're sharing a meal with people, you're not really caring about an extra like 10 p.m. Yeah, 20 no, it's not a lot. And it's might be to do with the way we are though. I don't know. We're just pre pre pretty chilled out. We're, we're pretty, pretty chilled out. We're relaxed gals. I don't know, <laughs> like, maybe other people would care more about that. Yeah. So. yeah. But I either like, way, it's, it's not hard. It's just to no. add whatever everyone's eating and divide it. And I'm yeah. sure if you were bothered about stuff like that, there would be a, an easy solution to get around it. I'm sure you could all just work it out. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> We'll bid you farewell. Bye! Like and subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> Should we be making a heart around Holly's head or not? <laughs> oh, there we go! It's more like a... It's more like That's a more just like an end. end. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh dear! I'm in dear. my head! You're in my head! <laughs> So there we have it, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hopping in on the madness of our flat dinner. I would highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to try making a natural salad because it is life changing. Similarly, if you have any go-to meals, leave them down below because people might be needing some ideas and by people, I mean myself. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this video is going to be posted on both my channel and onto the United Students channel. So whichever side you're watching it from, make sure that you cross over and have a little look around. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon with another one. Goodbye! I'm away to go and like eat myself out of house and home right now. I am so hungry.